Hello everyone, um, this is Amy Schmid, I'm the Associate Director with Camp Ag Walk for Girls. Um, I would just like to introduce this short video that we have devised um, for those of you who perhaps um, weren't able to attend our new camper orientation or for those of you that were there and just would like a little bit of a, of a refresher of some of the topics that were covered. So we're going we're gonna to start out um, looking at um, some of our tips for first time camper parents. Um, we're going to go through that and then we're going to look at um, a few slides of some of the sample forms that are included in this packet. So first of all, um, one of the things we recommend is discussing activity selection for your campers before they arrive at camp. Um, we have nearly 40 different activities that they have to choose from. Um, and the unique thing about Agawak is that our campers um, start at the beginning of the week with um, their division and sign up for activities that they choose themselves. They're not necessarily um, signing up as a cabin group or signing up as an age group. Um, they're able to make those independent decisions and we feel that that's very important for their, for their independent experience um, at camp. So if there's a particular activity that you perhaps want to make sure that your daughter signs up for, um, feel free to call the office or email, email us um, just to kind of let us know that we should, we should kind of um, keep an eye over the things your daughter is signing up for. The same goes for um, a particular activity that you maybe do not want your daughter participating in. Um, obviously all of our activities are supervised and completely safe, um, but we have had in the past some parents that just really don't not, do not want their child participating in something like riflery or archery. So that is completely fine. Just make sure you make us aware of that ahead of time and, and you discuss those options with your daughter before she arrives at camp. So the SMA account, you're going to see this term several times throughout the summer. Um, SMA stands for spending money account. Um, while your daughter is at camp, um, part of her tuition money has gone into what we refer to as her SMA or her camp money account. Um, depending on which session she's attending for, it may be $100 and maybe $200 for full season. Um, this money is, is going to be deducted for things that your daughter may need while at camp, such as batteries, stamps, um, snacks purchased in our snack shack, um, and then um, purchases such as medications that the nurses may need to pick up in town for her. Um, the younger campers and the older campers will get money in cash taken out that they're allowed to spend for um, things like town day and the 4th of July weekend. So those of you that have really young campers, obviously their counselors are going to help to make sure they, they spend their cash wisely. Um, but the nice thing about our new CampMinder system is that as parents you'll be able to log in at any point in time over the summer and see what the what the current status of her, her spending money account is. Um, all right, discussing changeover weekend and plans for parents weekend. This is what we refer to as visiting weekend. Um, <clears throat> make sure your camper knows before she actually arrives at camp what your plan is. So those of you who have first session campers and plan on picking your children up at the end of the, the first session, make sure she's aware of that and make sure you communicate with the office. We'll send out information about transportation soon. Um, but don't make it a surprise. If you... you think it's going to be fun to, to tell your daughter that she's coming um, home on the bus and you end up trying to surprise her by showing up for visitors weekend, um, you're going to run into an issue as your daughter's halfway to Chicago on a bus and now you're in Monaco, Wisconsin. So that has happened in the past. We don't like for that to happen again. Um, so please just make sure you stay open with us with communication. Um, the other example here is um, don't make a pickup deal. So we're going to relate this into to the next bullet point. If your daughter comes to camp um, knowing that you've said in the past that if she's homesick, I'll come and get you, this is completely undermining her confidence and dramatically increases increases the intensity of homesickness. So campers, we, we've done this for several years. Our owner and director has been has been running this camp for 28 summers. Um, anytime a pickup deal has made, you're, you're immediately setting your daughter up for failure. So make sure you, you discuss homesickness. We'll, we'll talk about that a little more at the end. Um, but really, do not make a pickup deal with your daughter. Label everything. Um, it's very easy to lose things at camp and even harder to get it back. So make sure everything from t-shirts to tennis rackets to socks um, is absolutely labeled. Camp is a place where kids can run around in grungy t-shirts and shorts. Please leave expensive gear at home. Um, 
when in doubt, there are labels available for purchase. Um, you can purchase those through Campminder or through other camp suppliers. Um, but the thing that we recommend that's the cheapest and actually most effective is just using a regular Sharpie marker on all of your items. Sleeping bag versus egg crates. Um, egg crates or full mattress pads um, are not recommended. They take up a lot of space in your camper's duffels. Um, they're absolutely not necessary for the bunks that we have at camp. And instead, we recommend that you pack a sleeping bag for your daughter. Um, this is necessary for when um, her cabin group may go out on a teepee trip or any other type of camping trip. And while in the cabin, you can actually have her lay out her sleeping bag on her bed and put her sheets right over the top. So it acts similar, um, similar to a mattress pad. And then it's much easier to send home at the end of summer. So those of you that insist on packing some type of foam mattress pad, please know that it is going to be sent home with your daughter. Um, at the end of summer. We will not dispose of that here because we are telling you um, that you are not to send those with. So um, if for some reason it can't fit back in her duffel bag, those will be shipped back to you at your expense. All camp forms are due May 1st. Those of you who have signed up already know that um, everything is going to be going on through our Campminder online system. Um, make sure you upload your camper's photo in addition to, to filling out all the forms. It will show up um, looking like a form that's required to be filled out in your Campminder account. Um, the photo is very helpful for our staff and counselors to learn the names of the girls before they actually arrive. Um, the other thing that we need um, that is very important is the cabin requests. So any, any other um, fellow campers that are in the same grade and session as your daughter that she may want to bunk with, um, make sure you're putting that in the, in the bunk request or the cabin request that's in the form section. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact camp or um, send us an email at fun at .com. Departure day is very hectic. This is the, this is the day that the buses are, are departing from Chicago. Um, we are very organized. There's alphabetical check-in. Um, one of the biggest things that we ask is you do not bring your pets. Um, it's chaotic enough. Parents and campers um, are attempting to check in. Luggage is being loaded. Um, do not bring your pets to the bus area. Goodbyes at the bus need to be quick and confident. Um, you are not doing anything to your daughter by, by telling her how much you're going to miss her or getting emotional yourself. You have, you have the whole way home um, in, the, in the car to, to deal with that um, emotional upset as a, as a parent. Um, but you staying strong for your daughter is going to make a, a significant difference in her success um, not only in the bus ride up, but, but her transition into, into summer and into camp. Um, no parents or family members are allowed on the buses. So once your daughter checks in, keep the goodbye short and quick. Um, they'll be escorted onto a bus, given a bus buddy, um, and we do this in order to keep, keep the departures timely. One of the other things we recommend is you send a letter before your camper actually leaves home. So in addition to making sure she knows how to address and, and, and write letters, um, we recommend that you send a letter before she leaves home that it actually arrives at camp um, the first or second day that she's there. So she'll have something to read from home. Um, <clears throat> as for communication during the summer, written letters are your only form of communication. Um, unless it's her birthday in which we would have already corresponded with you um, about that. And please remember, we do have a no package policy. Uh, parents have been pretty good about this in the last few years, but please remind um, friends and relatives of this rule as well. We don't want to have to send grandma's package home um, just because she wasn't aware of that, that no package policy. Um, Letters from home can also bring up small bouts of homesickness, so please keep them light and happy. Um, try to avoid description of events that they have missed or, or discussing anything overly emotional. Um, we will have a few sample letters of the types of things you might expect from your daughter to write back, especially when she is dealing with homesickness. Obviously, letters, letters are your only method of communication with your child, but please make sure you, you stay in contact with camp if you feel like you're receiving letters that are overly homesick. Um, you know, and you are welcome to call camp the camp's office at any point in time during the summer. Um, we can set you up in contact with either our director or even setting up appointments to talk to your your child's cabin counselors. That may may do um, some good to help ease your um, kind of anxiety or or just to touch base with the types of letters that you may be receiving or or to check in how her homesickness is is being dealt with. 
Um, one of the other ways to stay in touch with us, us throughout the summer and kind of see our daily happenings is to check out our blog and website. Um, the blog is connected directly off of our website. That's where you'll see posts from director and other uh, um, administration members throughout the summer. Um, you should have received in your pre-camp packet the login information for the Smug Mug photo account um, and some other helpful information um, that's all included on, on that pre-camp packet. Uh, just a reminder that all communication should th come through the camp office. Um, we do understand that sometimes it happens that um, you may be family friends of your child or another child's cabin counselor, um, but this is not the place where you should be contacting them via their personal cell phones. Um, this is not allowed. Counselors burn out easily, and the number one issue that is, is run into is, is miscommunication. So all communication should come through our main office only. Um, and like I said before, you can also um, arrange for to speak with your daughter's cabin counselors at any point. Um, again, our number is 715-356-5383. Um, and you can call us at any time, like I said, to, to organize something like that. One of the best um, ways to get your child ready for camp and kind of to ease, ease these issues of homesickness is to start spending some practice time away from home. Um, nothing builds confidence and teaches a child how to cope um, with time away from home than, better you guessed it, um, spending time away from home. So whether it's a weekend spent with the grandparents or family friends, um, try to do this a few times before your child is actually um, about to, arrive to, about to arrive at camp. Continuing on with some more tips for, for parents, um, like I mentioned before, uh, we try to post pictures to our Smug Mug photo account daily. Um, there's tons and tons of photos that get posted. Please don't panic if you don't see a picture of your child. Um, we're a very busy place and we couldn't possibly get the perfect shot of every child every single day. Um, and then also keep in mind that some campers just love the camera, they seek it out, um, while other campers shy away from it. So they see the photographer coming and they're gonna they're gonna bolt the other the other way. So don't panic if you don't see your child in a picture. Um, but again, don't feel don't don't hesitate to contact us if, if you're worried or you see something in, in these pictures. A lot of them are candid. Um, but we hope that you enjoy seeing those, those pictures that we do provide so you, you can see the types of activities that your daughters are participating in. Double and triple check our packing list. Um, many seasons of experience have helped us refine the packing list to include just the essentials. So if it says two duffels only, do not pack extra. Um, we will be limiting that this year and <clears throat> kind of taking over the, the baggage ourselves. Um, in addition, it says no electronics, so do not send these items. Um, on Sundays, we wear white polos or the white v-neck shirts and blue shorts, um, which is included on the packing list. That is the only required item of clothing that we, we have. Obviously, we have other suggestions of things to pack um, that will go along with a lot of the programming that we have at camp, um, but, but make sure you just kind of follow that list. Um, double check that your child has... has um, has those items and is, is set to go. Um, in filling out the forms, please be honest when filling out the health form. Um, it does no good to, to lie or to not include information on there, um, whether your child has issues with bedwetting or takes medication for ADHD during the, the school year and perhaps you want to take her off of that. Camp is not the place to do that. Um, in order for us to, to help your daughter the most and to have... Um, to help her have a successful summer, it's really important that our our nurses and our infirmary staff, as well as our as our administrative staff, have all of the information we need to care for your daughter properly. Um, and when we run into issues, a lot of times it, it's due to things not being made aware on her health or health history forms. Um, follow the camp rules, no matter how old your daughter is. If your daughter is one of our older campers, it doesn't matter if she's a first time camper or she's been at camp for 10 years. Um, all parents, all campers are, tr are treated equally. So cell phones and all electronics are prohibited. Um, and it's, it's much easier to send when your campers are younger and they're maybe not so reliant on these items. However, you need to, t you need to, to make sure your camper is fully aware. One of the forms that we ask you to fill out um, is an acknowledgement of rules. Um, it's important that you go over that with your camper before you are actually signing that um, and re-uploading that form. 
discussing homesickness with your camper before before they leave. This kind of goes along with the, the practicing with the time away from home. Um, sit down and have a conversation about how normal it is to feel homesickness. Uh, uh, one of the best things you can also do is maybe give an example of a time you were homesick, whether it was when you were a child and away at camp or perhaps the first time you went away to college or some other example. Um, it's a great way for you to connect with your camper and to, to let them know that it's completely normal um, and to expect it. Um, the other thing we, we need you to, to understand as a parent um, is you should expect a few homesick letters, especially at especially at the beginning and especially if you are a first-time um camp parent. Um, we do have some samples of letters at the end of this presentation of things that that campers would write. They're, they're, they're horrific, whether it's, you know, writing home saying, I'm having a terrible time. Come pick me up. Come pick me up. I've been throwing up for five days straight. This place is horrible. Um, make sure make sure we're made aware of that. Usually we're, we're on top of, of which uh, campers are, are homesick, but don't be alarmed when you when you get a, a letter like that. Um, it could be a matter of a few days before you're you're getting a letter saying camp is the most wonderful place. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me here, and it'll it'll be a 180 degree change from the things you were were receiving while your camper was homesick. Um, back to the packing list in your pre-camp packet, um, you will have received a packing list depending on your session. <clears throat> Pack for one week, um, not for the entire summer. Laundry is sent out once a week. Within 24 hours, it's returned back. So anything, you know, you don't need to have um, 60 t-shirts 60 for the entire summer. Um, you can have seven or eight shirts, and those, those are returned back within the laundry, even if a few get dirty. Um, also remember that for normal session, um, if you're attending for one session, for both sessions, or for the two-week rookie camp, you are only allowed two 75-pound bags. If you're attending rookie one, that's limited to one bag. Um, in the past, there has been a $200 penalty for a third bag. This year, because we are changing the policies and the pickups of baggage, you'll get that information shortly, um, there's not going to be a $200 penalty for a third bag because we are not allowing a third bag to be brought up to camp. So please be aware of that. Pack pack simply. The cabins are, are cluttered once the, once the campers arrive, especially the younger ones. The more they bring, um, it just makes it harder for them to keep it organized on their shelves and, and makes cabin cleanup significantly more difficult. Um, remember that the packing list is a guide. Um, if there's something that you know your daughter will absolutely not use um, at camp, pack less. That's great. Um, when we mentioned the, the blue and white apparel that's worn on Sundays, um, camp shirts, all new campers should have received a um, white new camper shirt. It's a nice white v-neck with the Agawak logo. Um, if you're looking to purchase more, um, you can also purchase the blue shorts. That can be purchased through everythingsummer.com. Um, there's a link for that right off of our Agawak website. It says store. Um, right on the main menu. The other thing that we are asking is that our new campers wear their white Agawak shirts on departure day. Um, on here it says, you know, it's in the welcome bag you receive. That should be any campers that actually attended new camper. The rest of you will be receiving that in the mail. So wear that on departure day. It helps our, our administrative staff and our counselors um, to kind of to kind of know who our, who our new campers are and who need a little bit um, extra attention and extra guidance on the first day of camp. This is an example of what our counselors fill out every single day for the campers in their cabin. This is collected every morning um, and gives a report of um, health, behavior, happiness, and mood, um, as well as some of the things that the campers have done or accomplished the day before. So this gets collected, brought into our office, um, and... Uh, we have access to that. So anytime you call in, um, we can just kind of give you as a parent a quick overview of some of the things your daughter has done, um, or if there's an issue that your daughter has perhaps been working through, we'll be able to, to pull that up right away and, and give you the update on that. We mentioned before talking to your daughter about activities before she signs up. This is an example of the activity sheet that she'll receive um, during cabin sign up. Um, some of the activities listed below, they'll go around to each counselor um, who sits at a table with a binder, sometimes it's an active sign up, and she gets to choose which activity she signs up for. There are six periods um, of activities during a day, three before lunch and three after lunch. 
Um, and it's pretty much similar to a, a school rotation. A bell will ring, um, they'll go to period one, um, bell will ring again, period two, period three, and so on. Um, so this, this will change. They get to sign up for new activities each week. Um, so if there's perhaps, you know, she was a huge fan of candle making um, during week one, she can continue to sign up for that throughout the summer. Um, however, she's, she's never really stuck in an activity. Perhaps on, on day one, she signs up for um, dance or drama and decides that's really not her thing. She won't have to, um, she can substitute that with a different activity for a, a different sign up period. Homesick letters. These, this is what we talk about when you should, what you should um, not be surprised by if, if you receive. So, dear mom, how are you? I'm horrible. The weather has been too hot. The kids here are mean. The food is disgusting. I hope to leave. The best thing about camp is nothing. P.S. Please come and get me. Um, homesick campers are going to send these types of letters home. Don't be surprised. Um, and again, the biggest thing we, we like to mention is do not agree with a pickup deal. So as a parent, this is probably something horrific when you receive this in the mail and you know your camper is, is hundreds of miles away um, in the middle of the Wisconsin Northwoods. But know that we um, have been doing this for many, many years and we know that this is the type of thing and the type of behavior that, that homesick campers exhibit. And we're very good at dealing um, with and easing, easing homesickness. You just need to you need to give it a little bit of time, um, and like we said, if, if you, you are worried about this or you'd like to check in with your camper, just contact our office at any point. Um, here's, another, here's another example, that same camper um, sending another letter. Um, finally, with forms, the how-to video, you will find on our camp website as well as our Facebook page a link to a video um, that shows exactly how to do our online forms through CampMinder. If you would like a link of that, please feel free to, to email fun at agawak.com. We did send that out a few months ago um, to all of our camp families, but if you are someone who has recently registered and would like that link um, and can't find it on our Facebook page, just contact us and we will be happy to send that to you. So it's going to be a fantastic summer. We're looking forward to meeting all of our new campers um, and to seeing all of our, our returning campers back on the shores of Blue Lake. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it's raised any additional questions, like I said, don't hesitate to contact our office. You can always give us a call at 715-356-5383 or email us fun at agawak.com. Thanks.